So what I'm going to show you in this video is how you can export your notebook so that you will be able to access it um, on your own personal device after you graduate. So here are the first steps you're going to do. So have the notebook open that you want to export and you'll be able to repeat this process for any notebook that you want to save. And then you're going to come up here to the file menu. Now right now I am in using OneNote desktop application. It may be a little bit different in the app. So I'll go over that in a second. So once I have gone to the file menu, I'm going to select export. Now this is where it's really important to pay attention for the first step here, export current. The default is going to be page. We don't want to just de uh, export the first page. We want the entire notebook. So you're going to select notebook and then under format here, you're going to select OneNote package. And this is basically just going to um, bring all of your notebook contents into one tiny little file. And then you'll be able to open that up on another device. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click export and it's going to ask me where do I want to save this. Since I plan on getting this into my own personal files or sending it to my Gmail, my Google Drive account, I'm just going to temporarily put it on my desktop. Um, you can leave the name or change it to whatever you want. I'm just going to change it to this. And you want to make sure it's a OneNote single file package should read here and then also should be current notebook. So then I'm going to click save. So you could see by that little scrolling bar that went by very quickly, my notebook package very quickly because this is very small. This is just a sample notebook. If your notebook has a lot, a lot of content in it and is bigger, it could take a minute or two or more to complete the export. So now that I know it, mine is complete and it's exported, I'm going to minimize OneNote. And I can see here now that I'm on my desktop, here is the package OneNote notebook. So the next step is getting it into my own personal files. Now, what you could try and do, but it may not work, is you could create an email and then email it to yourself as an attachment. But if your notebook is really large, even though this has packaged it to a smaller file, it still might be too big be too big to email. So what I suggest that you do is if you do have a personal email account like Gmail, most personal accounts come with cloud storage space. So in the instance of Gmail that you have Google Drive. So I'm going to come over and open up my browser. You can see here I have already logged into Google Drive, um, which is associated with my personal email. And now what I can do is I can either drag and drop that file on here or I can uh, import it in. So I'm just going to minimize this a little bit and I'm just going to take this notebook and I'm going to drop it right on to my drive. And you can see here this gives me an indication of where we are at and it says it has finished doing the upload. So I'm just going to refresh my screen to make sure it's there, which it is. So you can see this extension one PKG. So when you are on your own personal device, whether it be your phone or just be another computer, as long as you have um, OneNote on that computer, you will be able to click this and unpack it and it will open it up into OneNote. Um, if you don't have OneNote desktop application on your personal device computer, the app, the OneNote app is free. So you can download that from your um, store for whatever type of device you have. And then you can use the app and have access to all of your notes.